channel so today I was feeling like a little bit of drama <laughs> so I came up with this great eye look using nothing but my one dollar coastal sense eyeshadows these are the hot pots the only one that is not a coastal sense shadow is this one right here that is makeup geek corrupt but your girl likes to do makeup on a budget so i've been really enjoying these recently um they're okay i mean they're not like the best shadows but they're by far not the worst and i use them almost every single day so i will list the exact names down below but i like i said i was really feeling uh something dramatic something popping this would be great for date night going out um or if you just want to be popping during the day that's cool too um but if you want to see how i got this look then you all can just keep on watching and as always thanks for tuning in guys see you okay so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelid with ColourPop tan no filter concealer i love this concealer because it provides a really smooth base and I'm going to set that concealer with Sasha Buttercup. These are the shadows I'm working with. These are all Coastal Scent shadows, like I said. As you can see, there's some mattes, there's some shimmers. They're just gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with Tea Rose Pink. And it is a light pink, but it does have like that unicorn pinky undertone. Um, and you can't really see it on camera. And now I'm gonna go in with my favorite transition shade. This is Oatmeal Tan. I love this light, light, light brown color as my transition. And then I'm going in with Hot Tamale. Now I chose this shade because it's kind of on the sheer side and when you go in with such a dark color, I, I kind of wanted to build it up slowly. I didn't want to go in there and have it look a hot mess. So I chose Hot Tamale because it does take some time to build up. It is on the sheer side. And then I went in with Vampy, which is a matte-ish. It's not, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's matte, but it does have flecks of silver in it. But it still has like a tiny bit of satin. I guess it's a satin. I don't know. But I topped it off with that. And really started to create that crease shape that I like. Then I went in with the blackest black eyeshadow of all time. This is Makeup Geek Corruption. And you can go in with a eyeliner pencil to mark out your shape if you don't feel comfortable going in. But I chose to use a stiff, thin tapered brush for this part that really helped me get in that crease. Um, but go slowly with this part, build it up uh, slowly. That way you don't end up looking like a raccoon. <laughs> Just take your time guys and then I went back in with some of that vampy color just to blend out the corrupt and that pinky fuchsia color now I'm taking uh, caramelized and I'm going to be putting that on the lid but first first I'm gonna cut this crease y'all so I'm gonna lay down this base this is the elf glitter primer and y'all if you are struggling with learning how to cut a crease this right here is your best friend. I love using this to cut creases or underneath shadows because it's really easy to work with. It's kind of clear, so as you can see, it doesn't necessarily disturb like all the other colors. Um, and it's just easy to kind of mark out and carve out everything without being a big mess. And if you miss, make a mistake on your shape, it's really easy to correct it. Whereas with concealer, it can be a little bit more challenging and the best part is, is because this is a primer, it definitely sets a great foundation for whatever lid color you're gonna be using. So it makes the colors that you use pop because it has a little bit of a sticky base and it's just easy, easy, easy to use. It's super cheap. I think it's either $1 or $3. I'm not sure, you can buy it wherever you get, you know, e.l.f. products, Target. Um, those sorts of places. So definitely y'all, I highly, highly, highly suggest this glitter primer. Now I'm going back in with some of that Corrupt just to blend uh, where I put that caramelize. And again, that's the type of brush I told you guys I was using. 
And I'm kind of dragging that black a little bit inward as well on the lid. Going back in with some of that oatmeal tan just to blend it all out, that transition color. Now I'm taking Jordana Fabi Liner to line my top line. Um, honestly, I probably would have gone in with my Inglot Gel Liner number 77, the black one, but I was just being lazy and didn't feel like finding a brush. So this worked, but I probably would have used Inglot um, if I were to do it again. Now I'm just wiping off my face with some Garnier Micellar Water. This is just kind of cleaning up in preparation for complexion. Popping on my lashes. These are, I think, House of Lashes JoJo. I'm not sure. I will list it in the down bar. Going ahead and using the Hard Candy Coconut Primer Stick. I love this stuff. It's definitely like a cooling stick, kind of like that milk makeup cooling stick. And putting on Maybelline Baby Skin on top of that to really create a smooth base. You guys know I have textured skin, so I need as much smoothing properties as possible. And then this is the Hard Candy Pore Filler. It's like a pore filling uh, stick. And I just put that mainly in my T-zone and where my pores are, and then I press it in versus swiping. Um, that definitely gets it good into the pores. This stuff is okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but it does give a nice mattifying effect in those areas. So I do put it on my smile lines. <laughs> um, that way it kind of helps from that area from creasing as well throughout the day. Now y'all, this foundation, <laughs> this is Marc Jacobs Remarkable in the color Light Cocoa, and y'all need the tiniest amounts of this foundation, okay? So I like to go in with my concealer brush with a tiny dab of it, and then just mark it all over my face and distribute the product. Then I take my favorite foundation brush, which is the e.l.f. Powder Blurring Brush, not the foundation one, but the powder one, and I just work that product into my skin. Um, you just need the tiniest amount. This is a very full coverage foundation and there are a lot of complaints that this foundation turns gray and it is a little bit light for me but the one after this one is a tiny bit dark for me so I just kind of go and deal with the lightness. It does come across a little bit light but I try to be mindful of the type of powders that I use um, when using this foundation but it will cover up everything but again use a tiny bit put it on a concealer brush and distribute it dot it around your face that way do not go in with a huge glob of this because you will look a hot mess <laughs> and this foundation brush or this um brush that i'm using is amazing i do love it look y'all my son just came home from school and he was outside of the window i was filming in front of telling me hello <laughs> Here he is. Hey, Mikael. So I'm going in with my ColourPop Concealer in Tan. Blending it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Just putting it under my eyes, above my lip, my chin, the bridge of my nose, and between my eyebrows there just to bring some lightness, brightness to the center of my face. And I don't know what was going on with my blending, but it was like blending off <laughs> my head for some reason, I don't know. Probably because this Marc Jacobs foundation is um, pretty matte, so sometimes it does give me a little bit of trouble, especially with this concealer, because this concealer is extremely matte, but it was no big deal. I just went back in with that brush I put my foundation on with and just kind of started blending everything together to make sure there's no harsh lines. Now because this foundation is a little bit light for me, I'm not gonna go in to set my concealer with any sort of white transparent powder. I definitely wanna stick to like a banana powder, a yellow base powder, so this is Sasha Buttercup, but any banana powder would do better for this. And again, I'm setting all those areas that I placed that ColourPop concealer just to brighten up the center of my face. And because the concealer is so light and um, you know I need to bring some more dimension to my face, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep, which this is a tiny bit too deep for my skin complexion. Um, so I like it when I use this foundation because it does bring back some color. And I place that on the areas that I did not put the highlighting powder, the Sasha Buttercup. Thank you. 
And now I don't sweep it off. I take that same beauty sponge and I just press the powder all into my skin. That's kind of how I diffuse it. I don't powder it all off because afterward I do go in with a finishing powder. Today I'm using uh, the Better Skin in Coconut and gonna be taking a large fluffy angled brush and just kind of putting it all over as an overall finishing powder. This one is good because it does have salicylic acid in it for those of us that have acne or problematic skin. Now I'm taking my contour. This is the NYX bronzer and I'm putting that on with the e.l.f. I don't know, this is like an angled brush. It's a really cool brush. You can find this at Target as well, but you can see the difference between the contoured side and the uncontoured side. It just brings a little bit more dimension to the face. So I do that on my cheekbones, on my jawline, and really the perimeter of my face. Now I'm going in to finish the makeup with taking Makeup Geek Corrupt and dragging that all along my lower lash line. And then I will be going in with Hot Tamale right underneath the Corrupt. And definitely making sure to connect, you know, the upper shadow with that lower lash line. Now I'm taking that uh, highlight color, the T-Rose Pink. Again, you can't really see it, but it does have like a pinky purple unicorn type undertone, and I'm popping that in my inner corner. Taking that Fabby Liner by Jordana and extending um, my eyeliner there to create a little bit of a point to make the look a tiny bit more exotic. Now y'all, this 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil by Jordana is like bomb. <laughs> it's literally like a gel pencil, but it is so black. And I'm putting that on the waterline to take away any of that skin color that's still there. This stuff lasts forever. It took forever for me to get it off. <laughs> Popping on some mascara and my brow gel. This is the one by Rimmel, Brow This Way. And you guys know I like to put on my brow gel last after I've done all my powders and everything just to make sure my eyebrows are perfect. Going ahead and setting my face with the Hard Candy Matte Setting Spray. They changed the packaging on this. And then using ColourPop Monster. And again, this has that purpley undertone. It's white, but it's like purpley undertone highlighter. If I would go back, I probably would go more with a gold highlighter, but I don't know, I was just going with this, so it is what it is, but I probably would do this look more with a gold-based highlighter in the future. Now I'm taking the Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter and the, just using the first two shades, the lighter shades, and going over that ColourPop Monster. This is a really nice highlighter. I, when they're all three swirled together, it's really pretty, but I just used the two lighter shades for this look. Putting that on my nose, my cupid's bow, and the center of my forehead, and of course my highlight area. Taking uh, La Femme Blush in Mocha. It's a little bit more mauve than it came up on camera, but yeah, that's the one I used. And then I'm taking this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner in Keep It Spicy. This liner is so creamy, I love it. So I went ahead and I just filled in my entire lip with that. And then topping it with Milani Bahama Beige. This is a great nude for women of color. It's like a gorgeous peachy nude, which is my favorite. And then topping that with NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline, another one of my favorites. A final spray with the Hard Candy Brightening Spray. And this is the final look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that button below along with that bell twice to get notified of all my upcoming videos. I appreciate you guys. Take care.